Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have my weekly sales update video for you all. So this is the week June 1st through to the 7th um, and I only have Posh and eBay to show you this week because I didn't get any sales on Etsy which is a bit of a shame but that's fine. Poshmark was really slow for me this week and eBay was just okay. So this is probably gonna be quite a quick video so you know don't settle in too much. All right so let's start with Poshmark. Um, J Crew Sis Sucker Shorts they were size two so a smaller size kind of harder to move. They have sat in my closet for quite a while now. I want to say probably coming up on like nine months to ten months um, but they finally sold on a best offer of $18 and of course my buyers are paying shipping for all of these items as well. So 18 I'll be really honest, is more than I would have expected to get for these shorts, potentially. Um, I wouldn't say the Jaku shorts overall are doing super well, at least anecdotally for me. Um, and obviously they did sit for a long time, so I was very, very happy with that sale. Uh, next is LuLaRoe. I don't pick this up very much anymore. Very occasionally if it's new with tags and it's dirt cheap. It was a size X, um, XL and it was an Irma, uh, whatever that means. And it had this blue and pink abstract. So the one thing that I would take like sort of eat my words for really when it comes to the row is potentially like a solid black piece in a larger size potentially all the Disney prints depending on the prints some of those do really well still and um, but this item sold for $14 again on a best offer and I honestly I think I got it at a rummage sale potentially it's been so long it sat again for like nine ten months so it's been a while and um, now this was an item that sold fairly quickly within about two to three weeks of being listed Clark Sapphire Tweed Mary Jane Heel these were actually in a free inventory box that a viewer very kindly sent to me um, and they were a wonderful pair of shoes really really lovely this kind of side view is a little bit better you can see the shape there with that lovely block heel and they sold for $30 so a really good sale there for Clarks again that was really style that sold those I would say and um, the next is the North Face again this came in a free inventory box for me um, and they sold for $18 and they were a size 14 so they were a good size there and it is the season for North Face and things like that to be selling and and the final item is something I picked up at a thrift store not very long ago. This was only listed for about a week, which is really, really fast moving for loft, like in my experience. Um, but it was really, really pretty. So it was a... Um I feel like a sheath dress like a career piece and then on top was semi sheer with that pussy bow at the neck where you can kind of like tie it and it was teal and gray with a rose print just a nice piece overall and it sold for twenty dollars so a good price there for loft as well all right let's mosey on over to ebay so we have tony bahama pink 100 percent silk blouse like a loose shirt of women's and um, this sold on a best offer of 16 dollars has been listed for a good six months and i was just ready to let it go tommy bahama just does not do for me the way that it used to which i think a lot of people say now um, I tend to only get the really, really loud prints at this point and larger sizes. Um, free People tie-dye top. I thought this was really, really cute. It had beadwork and all sorts, size small to medium. Um, it's just sat for quite a while. Again, we have quite a lot of items here that were fairly stale that have moved. So for that, I am extremely grateful. But I thought this was really cute for summer. Total like boho festival piece. Um, and it sold for $17. Again, with my buyers paying shipping for all of these. Next was a J Crew piece. This again sold really quickly. This was from the same thrift haul, I think, as the loft um, dress that I just showed you. So it's only been listed for a week or two. Um, it was J Crew Factory, but it was a collector tee with this kind of falling floral, like blossom type look to it. Um, and it sold for $17. So again, that's a nice price there for a J Crew graphic tee. A Talbot's Peacock print. I've sold this many times over at this point and um, it's all for $15 I usually try to aim a little closer to 18 but you know 15 18 I'll take it it was a large petite so you know the petite might make it a little harder to sell anyway um just a vintage bathing suit these have slowed down for me as well but i haven't been finding them very much either and this one was really only had that sort of burst of color um at the top there and then the rest of it was just solid black so i do like an all over loud print more so um and this sold for 15 dollars as well and i've had that listed a long time like look how crinkly my paper was oh it's awful a terrible photograph so i'm glad it's gone and it's not in my store anymore uh cold water creek uh, embroidered snowflake wool sweater uh, yes here we are in June that's fine whatever size medium sold for 16 on a best offer it does 
help to keep those things listed, obviously. Um, Lucky Brand, this is uh, second hand that this has sold. Terry Cloth Zipper Hooded Sweatshirt. The first time it came back because it didn't fit the person. This time it sold for 11. Um, I just don't think it was really enough of a Lucky Brand piece. When I think of Lucky Brand, I think of those like um, louder kind of Southwestern and boho prints, a little bit more flowy, a little bit more open. So this kind of just hooded sweatshirt. Here is it. Here it is in like full. Um, just really isn't super indicative of their brand, I don't think. So $11. I'm happy to take it and I'll be a bit pickier next time, I think. Uh, next piece is Eddie Bauer, red, white, and blue plaid. Again, I just picked this up at the thrift store like a week ago. It sold within a few days of being listed, which I kind of hoped it would because the red, white, and blue, um, obviously we're coming up now on like 4th of July and stuff. And it sold for 16 on a best offer. Next is a pair of Fry black leather Carson ballet shoes. Um, they had some wear to them. I picked these up at a rummage sale, like a filler bag. So they were dirt cheap, which is amazing for Fry. Um, I will show you that logo if you can kind of see it here, like close up. Um, definitely a logo that you should sort of memorize if you can and grab if the price is right. Or honestly, if it's in good condition and it's things like boots, uh, I would pay up for those up to sort of $20, $30 easily. Um, yeah, but these were a little bit worn. You can kind of see at the back there. They had been loved, and so they sold for $20 finally. And they've been listed about sort of four, five, six months now. Uh, H by Bordeaux. I do not know anything about this brand. Um, I think I picked this up at a... I think I picked it up at a thrift store, if I remember correctly. Some of it's blurring together, honestly. Um, I think it's also sold as Nordstrom, potentially, but actually sold for $16. So that was a pretty good sale, and it was fairly quick as well, just a couple of weeks. And the last item this week was this Ralph Lauren, the skinny polo, pink polo shirt. Very preppy, spring, summerish, and sold for 15 on a best offer, of course, plus shipping as well. So here come the numbers. That was a total of 16 sales for this week. Uh, my gross sales were $274, which is not ideal. Definitely slower than it has been for me. Uh, my cost of goods, so the money that I paid for every single item that I just showed you here was a total of $27.04. My fees, which I always count 20% because Poshmark is 20% and I like to be very conservative when I'm telling you how much it costs you uh, actually sell on these platforms. So 20% is just airing on the side of caution. Um, it's about $54.80. So my net profit this week was $192.16. So like I said, quite a bit lower than I have gotten used to over the last month and a bit. But you know what? There are ebbs and there are flows. And it's okay. I've got some more stuff to list now. Thank goodness. You'll have some more haul videos coming your way. So I'm going to be able to list more than just the two items a day. So I'm really hoping that's going to stimulate some more sales for me as well. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do think about uh, hitting the like button and hit the subscribe button as well to come back for more thrifty content. If you're interested in learning about becoming a member of this channel, you can uh, click the join button right there beside the subscribe button and check out what that means. And if you're looking for any thrifty themed merchandise to wear, sort of uh, have your thrift pride on if you like um, over the summer, then you can check out some t-shirts that I have designed down below this video as well. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.